वेलकम टू सी एस टू वर्ड क्लास वन इन दिस क्लास फर्स्ट वी लर्न द बेसिक शॉर्टकट्स ऑफ हाउ टू वर्क इन एम एस वर्ड एंड देन वील मूव ऑन टू आर चैप्टर्स विच इज टू कैस्टिक प्रोसेस एंड मार्को चेन ओके सो फर्स्ट टेकिंग अप आर बेसिक शॉर्टकट्स लेट मी मूव ऑन कंट्रोल एन ओपन अ न्यू वर्क बुक फॉर अस सो कंट्रोल प्लस एन विल ओपन अ न्यू वर्क बुक and then how did i how do i select text shift in up arrow key will select all the text for me control shift greater than sign <clears throat> control shift and greater than sign increases font size control shift less than sign decreases font size so control shift and greater than sign from your keyboard control shift and less than sign from your keyboard okay <clears throat> if you want to come to a new page it is control enter okay control enter brings you to a new page you do not need to press enter 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 and come down control enter will bring you directly control z does the undo control y does redo okay control z does undo and then you can just normally write this if you want to write, if you are not in the equation mode and you want to write into subscript format control equal to is for subscript control equal to takes you back to normal form then control shift equal to is for superscript and control shift equals to takes you back to the normal form okay so these are the basic things which we need to do uh, which is there and then we have normally uh for all of these then you have a something called shift enter shift enter is soft enter so see there's a line spacing is less between this line Whereas when we press enter, there's a big line spacing. See, so soft enter is when you want to write two, three things together and want, don't want much spaces. You give soft enter for those. Shift and enter. Okay. Very basic. Now Alt equal to inserts equation for me. If you want your equation to be left aligned, like how is it? It is coming in my sheet. What you know to do is Alt equal to your by default equation will come into center. Just press this capital equals to sign and your justification do the left, okay? Automatically convert expressions to um, in this is my one well, copy linear format to the clipboard as and so on. There's nothing I've not changed any uh, any other thing. It is all same. Then press default. After you press default, this will change the effect to normal format and press okay. Now until unless you uninstall what or change the setting. this setting will not change every time you press alt equal to your equation will come your equation will always come to the left and equation design tab will open okay now let's move on to the first question which is question 1 define the following stochastic process poisson process before that i want to just tell you one more thing uh, when we are in equation mode underscore is for subscript and to the power is for superscript Underscore is for subscript and to the power is for superscript. So now let's do define the following process. A question one, which is a Poisson process. So a Poisson process with rate lambda. So how do you write lambda? Alt equal to backslash lambda. With rate lambda is a continuous time integer valued process or t equal to n underscore t okay where t is greater than equal to so greater than sign from your keyboard and equal to will convert it to this format greater than equal to 0 with the following properties so keep on writing with the following properties and then just put this first point you can either write this first point or you can give bullet points from here okay you have your bullet points here then see uh what is specified text uh, we don't have we have not done this anything Okay, so first I am writing point one. Point one says n zero is equal to alt n underscore zero equal to 
zero. Okay, then we have n. Put always enter equation mode. N underscore t is to t greater than equal to zero. Has has independent increments. So independent increments. This is very important. And third point says that. All t equals to n underscore t, n un n underscore t where t is greater than equal to zero. Brackets close. As Poisson, stationary increments. Okay, that is all t equal to probability just enter all t equal to probability n underscore t minus n underscore s is equal to is equal to n is equal to e in brackets please e to the power minus backslash lambda into t minus s brackets close lambda into t minus s then we have backslash lambda into T minus s brackets close this close to the power n. So to the power you can see we just writing to the power n space and then brackets close whole divided by n factorial brackets close and you give space. So this converts into this equation and then you write for s for zero less than equal to s less than equal to t and n is equal to zero comma one comma two and so on. Okay, so this was is a Poisson process, and then next one is a compound Poisson process. So part two to this is a compound Poisson process. Is a process of a form. Is a process of the form all t equals to x underscore t is equal to y underscore one plus y underscore two plus dot 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 y underscore. Now see we have to write n t. So n in brackets n underscore t space brackets close space. I'll show this again. Y underscore brackets n underscore t space brackets close space. Okay, where all t equals to n underscore t is t greater than equal to zero is a Poisson process and in brackets. Y underscore j equals to y underscore j where j equals to one two three dot 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 brackets close is a sequence of independent and ident iid random variables. Okay, and then you define. We always define x t equals to zero when n t is equal to zero. Okay, so this was your compound Poisson. Very basic typing. Only power and subscript was there here. Nothing else with a part of fraction. Little bit of fraction is there. This is basic theory question which you have to write. Then next part is question two. A motor insurance company offers renew annually renewable policies to encourage policyholders to renew each year. This is Markov chain question now. 
do slowly go slowly once you are getting into the habit you will see that you will uh, <clears throat> get the hang of writing and it will be easier for you all to write so first let us do this a motor insurance company offers annually renewable policies to encourage policy holders to renew each year its policies it offers no claims discount which reduces the premium for those people who claim less than uh, often there are four levels of premium zero is no discount there is 15% discount there is 25% discount and 40% discount a policy holder who does not make any claims in the year moves up one level of discount the following year or stays at the maximum level a policy holder who makes or uh, more claims in a year moves down to one level uh, of discount if they did not claim in the previous year but if they made at least one claim in the previous year uh then they move down two levels explain how many states are required to model this as a markov chain process so first we need to see how many states are required we can see that there are four states 0% 15% 25% and 40% but when we see we see that a claim a person who is make more than one claims in a year moves one down level in the previous level if, but if they have made at least one claim in the previous year they will move down two levels so it is dependent on the past so if it is dependent on the past our little break 2 plus and 2 minus to so make so that it follows markov property so we have to write that the state requires we'll just come control enter question 2 and then here you require a chain is mark uh, whatever uh, uh, our explanation is required whatever i told you a chain is markov it is if the current if the current situation current state is fully just a second if the current probabilities are enough to determine the probabilities to determine future movements between states okay so in this sensitivity system since the policy holders at on level 2 make a claim they their move will depend on the claim previous year also so if they no made no claim in the previous year they move down to level 1 if they made claims in the previous year then they move down to level 2 so to obtain we have to mark it to obtain a markov model break level 2 into 2 control shift equals to plus control shift equals to plus control shift equal to back and 2 control shift equals to minus control shift equals to and then you denote two control shift equals to plus is for for those who didn't make a claim the previous year previous year and 2 control shift equals to minus can shift equals to is equals to for who made a claim claim in the previous year okay moving down so there will be total of five states which is 0 1 2 control shift equals to plus 
कंट्रोल शिफ्ट इक्वल्स टू टू कंट्रोल शिफ्ट इक्वल्स टू माइनस कंट्रोल शिफ्ट इक्वल्स टू एंड थ्री ओके सो दिस वॉज आर फर्स्ट पार्ट नेक्स्ट ड्रॉ द ट्रांजेक्शन डायग्राम सो नाउ प्लीज सी केयरफुली हाउ टू ड्रॉ द ट्रांजेक्शन डायग्राम द ट्रांजेक्शन ग्राफ्स विल मेक इज वीज यू गो टू द इंसर्ट टाइम इन इंसर्ट विल यूज शेप्स Shape just fix one shape which you need to use. If you want to use circle, use circle. If you want to use rectangle, use rectangle. So now you have five states. So just make one rectangle, one sufficient size rectangle. Change the format. I like this blank format. Control C. Since you need five more, ah, uh, four more times. I've pasted five more times so that the boxes every time I draw remains of the same size. Okay. and then i need this four boxes here and then this is maybe here so this is this is becoming my state now i need this arrow which you can see here inside the insert tab so arrows arrows will help me create my diagram so first you need to write your names first you need to click on the box and start writing so this is zero level then in the box you write this is zero then here you write one then here you write two control shift equals two plus you just normally it works normal text two control shift equals two minus uh, so this is three and here it is two minus so two control shift equals two minus control shift so this has become now from zero to one there is a chance of going okay then in search shapes go to your arrows this one. From one to zero, also people will go if they make a claim. They move down one level. Again, select arrow. From one to two plus, people will go if they do not make a claim in the previous year. So they will go to two plus. And if they do not make a claim in the previous year, they can. Uh, if they make a claim in the previous year, so they can go to this. Now, for two minus year. If they do not make a claim now, they will move up in the third level. If they have made in the claim in the previous year, and now so they will move down two levels, so they'll come to zero now. Okay, and then if three people have made a claim, so they'll come down to two minus, and from two plus also people can go to three if they have not made a claim. So it's so easy, simple. I'm just dragging now. Other functions I have used. You can just make your this. Now we'll make. Uh, we'll just write probabilities over. Are uh, this? So go to your insert. Take a quick text box. Any text box size this inserts you. So probability of going forward, moving up is one minus p, and moving down is p. So we'll just write one minus p. Adjust the size of your text box a bit. Okay, not take much time, and now just place it. First section, place it. Copy this. Keep on pasting. Okay, so this will not take much time. Control V, and this happens. Okay, and then one more is just going up here. Yeah, okay. Select this, and so I'm not doing anything. Whenever this cross box appears, you can. Plus sign appears. You can drag it down. Similarly, copy once more, and now we just need P. Okay, so just remove this, and now paste the P portions. So P, copy this now, so that you don't need to write it again. So P, P, paste P here. Control V, you need five P. So here also it's coming down P, and Control V P. Now these are normal. Now you need self arrows also. Those who have reached three will remain in three. Those who have uh, reached zero will remain in zero. So in search shapes, you can see this block arrows. So take this block arrow for left hand side. So for left hand side means this. This is my block arrow. Leave it like this, and then again go to your designs. Open this. Take your block arrows on the right hand side for this. Okay. So this is done, and now you can just click here to remain in the own level. It is here. It is for upper level. It is one minus p. So you can just place it anywhere. They will understand. And for lower level, it is p. 
stitches place this so your transition diagram is made it is not as difficult as we think by practice you will gain a lot of see maybe you can be faster than me as well okay now coming down to our this was a transition diagram now they have said uh, draw the trans the tra probability of p of making at least one claim in a year is constant independent calculate the proportion of policy holders who are at 25% uh, discount level in the long run given that the proportion at 40% level is 9 times the 15% level okay now we have to calculate the stationary distribution so for stationary distribution we need the transition matrix so for transition matrix let's draw uh, the transition matrix first so uh, i am showing you a very easy method of drawing a transition go to insert go to your table and since here is a 5 into 5 matrix we'll take 6 into 6 because we need to write our names of the columns okay so 6 into 6 column 0 1 2 control shift equals to plus control shift equals to tab Two control shift equals to minus control shift equals to. I'm moving with tab. Okay, I'm not using mouse. Tab again. Uh, now I'll just copy is zero, one. Uh, copying takes more time instead of writing. So two control shift equals to plus plus. Then come down two control shift equals to minus. Come down three. So this is there. Now I'll make a transition arrangement. Zero to zero is p. Zero to one is one minus p. These are all zero. Now one to zero is one minus one to zero is uh, p. Then one to one is nothing. One to two plus is one minus p. One to two minus is nothing. Zero. And one two three is again nothing zero. So you just write zero. Then we have two plus two zero is zero. Two plus two one is p. Two plus two two plus nothing zero. Two plus two zero. Two plus two three one minus p. Two minus two zero one minus p. Ah, uh, sorry. P zero zero zero. Two plus two. One there is a uh, and then two plus two three is one minus two minus two three, yeah that is okay and then we have last one zero 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 three plus three to two minus we have p and this is one minus p. Okay, so this remain this becomes our uh, matrix transition matrix. Once our transition matrix is done, we'll do the stationary distribution. So. For stationary distribution, so let's write the equations for stationary distribution. So the stationary distribution equation is all t equals to backslash pi is equals to backslash pi into p. This is equal. This is p equals to. Okay. So p equals to. This is our equation, and our initial condition is always backslash summation of pi is equal to. One summation of pi i is equal to one pi underscore i. You can write. So this is an initial condition. Now we'll write out the uh, transition matrix equations. Transition matrix equations are all t equals to backslash pi underscore one plus. अच्छा, it's zero. So with state names we are writing. Backslash pi underscore zero is equal to back uh, p into backslash pi underscore zero plus one minus p into backslash pi underscore one. Okay. Plus p into backslash pi underscore two minus in brackets and space. Okay, next line all t equals to backslash pi underscore one is equal to backslash pi underscore two plus space with a p and last plus one minus p into backslash pi underscore zero. 
ओके नेक्स्ट सॉल्ट इक्वल टू पाई अंडर स्कोर टू प्लस इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस पी बैक्सलैश पाई अंडर स्कोर वन स्पेस अंडर ऑल टी को जो बैक स्लैश पाई अंडर स्कोर टू माइनस इज इक्वल टू पी बैक स्लैश पाई अंडर स्कोर थ्री स्पेस एंड द लास्ट वन इज पाई अंडर स्कोर थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस पी इन टू बैक स्लैश पाई अंडर स्कोर टू प्लस वन माइनस पी इंटू बैक स्लैश पाई अंडर स्कोर टू माइनस स्पेस एंड द लास्ट वन इज वन माइनस पी प्लस वन माइनस पी इंटू बैक स्लैश पाई अंडर स्कोर थ्री सो दिस इज द फोर फाइव इक्वेशन सेट्स वी हैव गॉट एंड सॉल्विंग दिस टू इक्वेशन यू कैन सी that pi 2 uh, is equal to pi 2 minus is equals to pi p pi 3 okay so equation 5 will be equal to for so equation 5 we can write all t equals to this is the 1 minus p pi 2 1 minus p pi 2 plus 1 minus p pi 2 minus this is 2 plus then there is a 2 minus 1 minus p pi 2 minus and 1 minus p and we know that pi 2 minus is equals to p pi 3 so what we can do is just write backslash we just copy this equation control c control v and instead of pi 2 minus we'll just write p pi 3 to get our answers okay and once you get this 1 minus p into p pi 3 all t equals to you will see you will get the value of backslash pi underscore 2 plus is equal to p square divided by 1 minus p backslash pi underscore three. Okay, and the last equation three. Equation three will be equals to all t equals to backslash of pi underscore two plus is equals to one minus p. backslash pi underscore one. So if this was the case, all t equals to we will see that pi two plus ka value we have calculated here. So we'll see. Control v and this is equals to one minus p backslash pi underscore one. Ya gya. So now we have been given in the question that pi three and pi one are related. So if you see, it said that the Calculate the proportion of policy holders at the 25% discount level in the long run. Given that the 40% level is nine times at the 25% uh, uh, is nine times the 5% uh, level. Okay, so we'll now calculate. So basically, when we uh, saw uh, now when we solve this, all t equals to we get backslash pi underscore one is equal to copy this equation please it's very easy to visualize that if you see this is close this is close and underscore 2 okay and then we have the last one however uh, the question says pi 1 is equals to 1 by 9 pi 3 so given All t equals to backslash pi underscore one is equals to one by nine backslash pi underscore three. Okay, so now we'll just solve this. That all this equation p into one minus pi i square is equal to one by nine. 
so solving this we have alt equals to we have our values p by 1 minus p close p divided by 1 minus p is equals to 1 by 3 or you can just solve to write that 4p is equals to 1 or p is equal to 1 by 4 so this is our equations which we will write from our long term distributions and then you can substitute your values they have said you calculate the proportion of the policy level holders at the 4% level so we need to solve all of these once we get p you can just put it in your equations so substituting in equations I have by purposely taken a long uh, uh, sum so that you all understand how to do everything in this chapter so substituting sorry substituting in value of p in equations so we get what alt equals to backslash pi underscore 1 is equals to 1 by 9 backslash pi underscore 3 then alt equals to backslash pi underscore 2 minus is equal to 1 by 4 backslash pi underscore 3 alt equals to backslash pi underscore 2 plus is equal to 1 by 12 backslash pi underscore 3 so all this is you got now from if you solve all of these equations once you have got this you can just from the first equation which is the original equation Alt equals to which is this equation which we had written the first one from your equation number one. Okay, from equation number one, we can just write or we can just substitute our values that pi zero is equal to one by four backslash pi. 0 plus 1 by 4 backslash pi underscore 1 plus 1 by 4 backslash pi underscore 2 minus so this has to be backslash pi underscore 2 minus backslash pi underscore 2 minus space brackets close okay now when you solve this this becomes alt equal to 4 backslash pi underscore 0 is equals to pi underscore 0 pi underscore 0 plus backslash pi underscore 1 plus backslash pi underscore 2 minus okay once you solve this you get equals to 3 backslash pi underscore 0 is equals to backslash pi underscore 1 plus backslash pi underscore 2 minus. So once we solve this we get the value of this is equals to. Pi 0 is equals to. 1 by 3 pi 1 plus pi 2 minus ok and then you can just substitute your values alt equals to pi underscore 0 is equals to 1 by 3 in brackets you can write 1 by 9 so I'll not copy this I'll just copy this from here 1 by 9 and 1 by 4 1 by 9 plus 1 by 4 pi 3 
brackets close space okay so this gives us 13 by 108 backslash pi underscore 3 okay once this gives us the values pi underscore 3 and so on solving the next equation you will get the values of so now vector uh, stationary probabilities you can write stationary probabilities is equal to alt equals to 13 divided by 108 backslash pi underscore 3 normal 1 by 9 backslash pi underscore 3 comma 1 by 12 backslash pi underscore 3 backslash 1 by 4 backslash pi underscore 3 and last one is pi underscore 3 only so this gives us the value of all the uh, eight probabilities and now we can for these should sum up to one i'll just copy these i'm not writing this again so just replace this with a plus sign see this is not mandatory such big sums will come and such because they have already said you that uh, you will get but be prepared for everything so one and then when you solve it alt equals to this will come to around 169 divided by 108 backslash pi underscore 3 is equal to 1 or alt equals to backslash pi underscore 3 is equal to 108 by 169 so this is the values and then you can just write the stationary distribution so therefore the stationary distribution is alt equals to in brackets first one is 13 by 169 space bracket 12 divided by 169 space brackets 6 9 divided by 169 space 27 divided by 169 space comma 108 divided by 169 okay so this completes the stationary distribution for us okay and then we were told the proportion at the 25 percent discount level in the long run so in the long run for proportional discounted level is sum of these two levels 9 and 27 so sum of 2 plus and 2 minus which is equal to this value plus this value putting a plus sign in between which is equals to 9 plus 716 so 36 by 169 okay and then explain how the space, state space would change with the probability of making a claim in any year. So this is just again theory which I am not writing. Okay and then again is the transaction matrix for that theory which you can draw. So this was the basic Markov chain which covered everything from stationary distribution, transition diagram and transition matrix which is there basically in your uh, revision notes. If you practice, keep on practicing you will be able to do this. Also, you can save your equations into Word. I'll just show you how can you can save. See, if you right click on this, save as new equation. You can just write the name of whatever equation which are like very normally used. Like summation of P equals to, Pi's are equal to 1. You can just insert it. In gallery, do equation. Create a new category, say actual. See, I have created a new category, say actual. Okay. And then you can use save in building and then use insert contents only. Please do not do insert contents in its own paragraph or in own page. Do insert contents only. Then you can insert equations in your own line where you are writing. Okay. And then you will press OK. You can use this. You can also create the shortcuts for those. How will you create shortcuts? You can go to your accounts. Uh, go to your options. Excel options. Then go to your uh, sorry word options go to uh, customize ribbon go to customize then come down building blocks see i'll show you advanced annuity is created for me and for that i have assigned a va value press new shortcut control shift a 
सो कंट्रोल शिफ्ट असाइन इट विल असाइन सी असाइन क्लोज ओके एंड वेन एवर नाउ आई अटेंड राइट कंट्रोल शिफ्ट माई एनर्जी दिस सो सम इक्वेशन दट यू वॉन्ट टू असाइन योर शॉर्टकट टू यू कैन असाइन दैट इज फॉर टूडे